YouTube, what's good? You guys, what's good? If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're not new, welcome back. And as y'all know, this is Terrence World. And I appreciate y'all for stopping by one more time. Let's see what we got going on. So, um, first off, man, I'm in a great mood today. Uh, just got home from work and at 71 right now. 71 subscribers, like that's, like, I... I'm small time, but that's amazing. Like uh, 71, like I wish I could sh find every one of you guys and shake you guys' hand and just show you guys how much I appreciate it. Like I love you guys to death. Couldn't do it without y'all. And something else I like to add, uh, I do have a mic now. I just want to, you know, just get a little better sound quality for you guys. There's another addition to the uh, channel which I'll show you guys at the end of the video. That's pretty much all I gotta say. As you've seen from the title, I do have a few tips that I use to try to keep my hair nice and healthy um, that you may like to try to implement in your hair growth journey or whatever you got going on. Everything I do, I'm learning by learning as I go. So, but this is what's been working for me. Without further ado, man, let's get on with the video. So as y'all seen from the title, man, we're gonna be talking about a few things that I do to try to help my hair grow a little healthier. Tip one, uh, tip one I would say is like one of the most important things you can do more than just growing your hair, it can, it's for your overall health, is drinking more water, you guys. Water is like essential for life. Water is so important, man. It keeps you hydrated, it keeps your hair hydrated. And think about it like this, like when scientists are going somewhere they're trying to figure out uh, a new planet to sustain life one of the first things they're looking for is the presence of water like does it have water i probably wrong science class was a long time ago i saw that i know we're made up of water we need it tip two kind of goes hand in hand with drinking water eating healthier food your body is a machine that you know it has to have fuel to perform its task whatever you're feeding your body man that's what it's going to use to do what it has to do giving you energy for the day hair growth uh, growing your nails out uh re reproducing skin cells man like there's so much that your body has to do and what's in it is what it's going to use to do what it has to do so that's tip uh two eating healthier food all right we're going to go with tip three washing your hair washing your hair obvious right but a lot of people get it misconstrued 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 that you should only wash your hair once a week or once every two weeks there's not really a time frame that i, sh I would say that you need to wash your hair um me myself i wash my hair whenever it's feeling dirty whenever it's feeling like it's getting weighed down it's getting heavy i wash it um sometimes that may be twice a week uh depending on how the week goes it may be three times a week where i feel like i may need to wash my hair i would recommend is using a co-wash a co-wash is something that you can definitely use to substitute for a shampoo especially if you uh, maybe you shampooed your hair maybe two days ago and you don't feel comfortable with putting more shampoo in it again without overly stripping it and you know it's a definite benefit to uh add to your routine yeah tip three was washing your hair uh using co-washes and you know whenever it feels dirty hand in hand with washing your hair uh is conditioning your hair well really deep conditioning your hair uh at least once a week is great uh, me myself, I uh, realized that my hair likes to dry out super fast, so I may try to start deep conditioning twice a week just to see how that helps. Basically, resets your hair, it kind of gives your hair a new life, uh, especially in the moisturization department. That's tip four, you guys deep conditioning. Uh, tip five, kind of obvious, keeping your hair moisturized. Um, do not base your products off anybody else's products, there are too many products for us to just kind of use what everybody's saying to use you know definitely go out and experiment with your own products they don't have to be all natural there are plenty of uh people especially on the youtube platform that don't use all natural products and they have some of the most flourishing hair that i've seen basically all moisturization is is trying out products that work for you 
six, we're gonna go with protective styles. Protective styles are just what they say they are, protective styles, whether it be, you know, twists or you you have braids. Anything that your head normally touches in the day, that's what protective styles are for. Keep your hair nice and uh, safe for days, weeks, maybe even a month, depending on uh, the kind of protective styles you get. Also, what it does is it just kind of gets your mind off your hair for a second and lets you just kind of do whatever else you want to do. Patience. Tip seven, taking vitamins, man. Trying to grow your hair or not, vitamins are definitely a beneficial thing that I uh, use just because they add a lot of the uh, nutrition that you know you may not get in your daily food, especially if you're not eating the healthier food. So vitamins definitely help to you know, fill in the gaps where the food that you're eating and getting in isn't necessarily doing it for it. So besides regular vitamins, uh, what I do like to take to kind of try to help promote my healthier hair growth is I take biotin. It takes about a month or so for you to even see results from taking these kind of vitamins. Give it, give it time if you're going to try out something like this, but that's just a few tips that I use, you guys, just making sure that, you know, you're taking care of yourself. Like, it starts with yourself. If you can't take care of yourself, you can't take care of other things. So, you know, definitely give yourself the time and energy that you deserve, you know, and that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. I thank you guys for uh, keeping up with me. We'll see y'all for the next video. I appreciate you for making it this long, and if you did, uh, stick around. Uh, the new edition that I was talking about at the beginning of the video is actually going to be my new intro for the channel. Y'all let me know if y'all like it. If you don't, uh, I'll really like to know what you guys think. And here it is. I'm really just a fucking fool.